and welcome to my studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. Currently we are working on alcohol inks techniques. So let's get started with one of our videos. We're going to talk about varnishing your alcohol inks. So one of the first things I want to remind you is make sure you heat set your alcohol inks. This helps keep them from running. But a lot of people ask me what to use on them and I always tell them what are you comfortable with? What type of brand do you like and are you comfortable with? I like one that's fast drying. You want to make sure that it's non-yellowing. That's a big plus. You want to make sure it's non-yellowing. Um, just different things like that. So you may have something that you really like. So use that. I do use, uh, one of my favorites is just the Krylon and I use the gloss. We'll talk about that in a second. But Krylon has, it's fast dry, it is inexpensive, I can get it almost any time I want it, um, especially Walmart, it's pretty inexpensive. So that is one of the reasons that I like using just the Krylon. Another one of my favorites here, if I can find it, is the Krylon Triple Thick. This is, goes on extremely thick, gives you that wonderful glossy um, coating. So that is another one that I really like to use. Now, when you are varnishing, uh, you want to make sure that you don't use the brush on on this because it will bleed. Your colors will run on you, and that's what it means by bleeding or running is the colors will move around and smear. So you do not want to use the brush on. Make sure that you understand why on that. Another thing you want to be careful with, if it is humid outside or cold, you want to be careful with what type of finish you use, whether it's gloss or satin or matte. Um, the, they can have a tendency to turn a white on you, and I stick with the matte because it is, or excuse me, the gloss is less likely to do that. And if you do do that, there are a couple things you can do. Send me an email and we'll talk about that. But the gloss is less likely to do that, but you don't want it too cold or too humid. A lot of times if it turns white, you can completely dry it and respray it again, and then that will change back. So that's a, another thing to think about when you are getting ready to varnish. And we're going to go outside and show you how to varnish because your first couple coats you want to make really light. And people don't understand what we mean about that. And when we say light, we mean put on so that it's not wet yet. Just real light coats that you don't see the varnish. And there's a fine line between over varnishing and a good varnish. So we're going to take that outside and show you that. We're outside and I've got the glove on, the hand I'm spraying with, and I've also got my mask on. And you should always hold your can about a foot or 12 inches from your gourd. People overspray when they're too close or they do an area too long. So I want you to kind of see how it looks like when we do a light coat. We're just going to barely start to see that shine and that is a light coat where you're just barely starting to see the moisture at all on the gourd piece. We're going to do two to three of those and then we're going to do a heavier coat. I've got my two or three coats on, my light coat. Now we're going to put our little bit heavier coat on and I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. And you can see it's a lot wetter, but you don't want it so wet that it's dripping. Right there is just the perfect amount. And I suggest that you practice on that. And I'm just going to lay it onto my dry board to let it dry. And that is a Miriam Joy product, and it can continue to let it dry. The one thing I do suggest when you're doing a gourd is don't do it in circles because you miss it. When you're doing a gourd, just go back and forth all the way around and then circle your bottom. Watch out for any bugs or anything that may land on your gourd as well. But that is how you varnish your alcohol inks. 
thank you so much for watching our video today. One of the great sources for alcohol inks is BlueWellArts.com, as well as your local scrapbooking section, so check those out. This is one of many of the alcohol inks techniques that we are currently doing, so make sure you check out all of our others. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can be one of the first to be notified when they are out.